summary of Daf Samach Beis, and there's uh, two Maimarim on this uh, Daf, both related to Kriyas Yamsuf. So the first one begins with the Pasuk, Vayar Yisrael, that the Jewish people saw the great hand that Hashem did in Mitzrayim uh, through the, the Makas and all the miracles, and the uh, Jewish people revered, they feared Hashem, and they believed in Hashem and in Moshe. So we see here there's two emotions the Jewish people had. They had Yira, reverence, and then they had Emuna, they had uh, uh, faith. So uh, to understand that sequence and also to understand the two, uh, uh, so we, we can understand through um, noticing that there's two times that it says Havaya. It says Vayira is Havaya and then Vayaminu Bahavaya. And this corresponds to in the, the introduction to the Yugim Mudasarachim, it says, Vayikra, Hashem, Hashem, Kalrachim Chanun. So it's got again there, Havai, Havai, twice. Uh, so there's uh, what's called Havai de la Satan, Havai de la Ela. Havai de la Satan is Hashem as he creates worlds with the Yud as a symptom and the haste spreading out. Vav, just uh, Hamshacha bringing down, and then the, the second day again spreading out. So it's about Hashem's uh, 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 light coming down into worlds through this process first uh, contraction and then spreading. And uh, the Havai de la Ela is Hashem as he is beyond creation. And uh, so, uh, as a, uh, a like sort of uh, the, the Ratzin for, for creation before actually creation, the desire for it. And uh, so when Pari said Miyavaya, he was talking, at least Pari spiritually, his source would have been talking about the higher Havaya. In other words, Havaya as, as uh, the source of creation that he understands because he's within the world. But Havaya beyond, that, that's what would have been hard uh, for him to relate to. Um, and the uh, uh, the Chris Yamsov, uh, the Jewish people reached Havai de la the high level of Mitzrayim, and this was through uh, uh, of uh, the high level of Shem Havai, and this was through Mitzrayim, which represents constriction and uh, breaking oneself. So that's how they reached uh, the high level. And this is the idea of having dry land in the sea. The sea represents Alma Discasia, the hidden world, because we don't see all the vegetation and animals within the sea. It's a, like, just like dry land, there's a lot of animals and trees, so too, and even more in the sea there is. But the difference is we can see what's going on on dry land, but we can't see what's going on in the ocean. So that's Alma Discasia. And then uh, the dry land is the revealed word Alma Discasia. And uh, what, therefore, what, what we mean is that what was normally seen, normally, normally part of the ocean, normally Amadiscasia, the hidden world, which is beyond our spiritual uh, capacity, now became open. And now the first Havaya, Vayir Amas Havaya, that they feared Hashem, that is talking about the lower level of Havaya because they were able to have an understanding and therefore uh, develop a reverence. Whereas the higher level, because it's beyond them, all they can have is a Muna. And Moshe uh, assisted them with both levels of Havaya and, and, and with both their Yira and their Emuna, like the Gemara says, that for Moshe, Yira is a small thing. And Moshe is one of the Rai Mahemnas, is the leading uh, shepherd of faith. So he helped with both. And uh, and uh, therefore, at Chris Yamsov, he told them, Batam Tachrish, and you be quiet, which is connecting to the beyond where you can't even express Alma Discasia. Now, it says that when Mashiach comes, we're going to cross a river, and then, and Shom Nisim Chabai there will be happy. So the explanation is that when there's Gilu, when there's revelation, then together with that comes Simcha. Simcha is a very expressive happiness. It's not like a happiness that's just inside, but it's expressed outward, and that hap then that comes from when an occurrence that is revealed, in other words, from understanding Hashem, and where Hashem is re revealed and manifests, so then that brings Simcha in a revealed way as well. And, uh, and uh, nowadays, on the other hand, because we don't have that same gilu, so therefore our relationship with Havai del is only in a way of a munna. Uh, we have faith, in it, and like he said in early in the moment, even uh, faith that uh, that it will come out. But right now, it's it's not yet revealed. 
and uh, th therefore, uh, right now, although we don't see it, though, we are working with, you know, there's through mitzvahs, it will come out eventually. And therefore, in our Aveda in this world is more important and more integral to having the ultimate gili revelation of Hashem than Olam Haba. Olam Haba is sufficing with uh, the lower level of Havaya, whereas in this world, although we don't see it yet, we're working on revealing Havaya de la'ela. And this is all brought about through Moshe, and that's why it says Vayikra, that Moshe calls out Havaya Havaya. And Moshe is the one who uh, connects us to this uh, to this beyond, and therefore leads the singing of Az Yashir. And because at the sea at Kriyas Yamsuf they had this uh, moment of clo of uh, closeness with Shem Havaya de Ela, with the uh, uh, Hashem as he's normally concealed and beyond. Therefore, they didn't want to leave, and Moshe had to push them and force them to leave, and uh, and. Uh, Tell them that that really each one of the journeys, once you leave here, leaving Chris Yamsa will continue as a special a spiritual journey as well. The 42 journeys correspond to Shem Mab, the her name of Hashem of 42, and uh and and the one who brought them to all these uh, different levels is all through Mesha. That concludes the first Maimer. Now the second Maimer, uh Oz Yasha Mesha. So the second Maimer is based on the song of the sea. As Yashim, Moshe, and Esau, but then Moshe and the Jewish people sang, this song to Hashem, and they said, sing to Hashem, because it uses this double expression, he's very much exalted, the horse and its rider were thrown into the sea. So what's, the, the, the Maim asked the question, what was the point of Kriyas Yamsov? You could actually go from Mitzrayim, to Eretz Yisrael without crossing water from where they were in Mitzrayim. And also they didn't even, according to Tasis, Tasis explains that they they uh, they uh, didn't cross the sea. They went into the sea and came out on the same side. So what was the point? So the point is that we all have a Mitzrayim in us and we all have the, the whole, we have to leave Mitzrayim and we all have the concept of Kriyas Yamsov inside ourselves splitting the sea. Uh, like uh, Tasefta says that we also not only we have to remember Mitzrayim every day, but we have to remember Kriyas Yamsuf every day as well. So the, the, to, to explain the three core parts of our Veda, the uh, Torah Veda and Gnos Chasadim, uh, Torah study of Veda is the Karbana. So nowadays it's the, uh, instead of bringing up an animal on the Mizbeach, bringing up an animal, our Nevesh Bahamas, our animal soul inside us, and then Gnos Chasadim, Max of Kindness. And what we're trying to do is Baruch Atas to bring down um, Hash, uh, uh, Revelation of Hashem uh, through our um, through our davening and through our mitzvahs, and, and that's why we say Baruch Atas that we want to bring down so it should be Atas, so it should be revealed, and um, and uh, uh, even from Alma discuss here from the hidden world that it should be uh, re re revealed down here. Now. Uh, like we said in the previous Maimah, so everything in the sea, there's uh, everything in dry land, there's also in the sea. Uh, so there's uh, vegetation and animals, etc. The only difference is that you can't see it. So Alma Discalia represents Yeshus, where everything is its own ego, whereas Alma Discalia, everything's covered over, it's all one, and that's uh, that's Bittal because of a higher level of, uh, of uh, Gilele And what we're wanting to bring down from the sea, from Alma Discalia into our world, into Alma Discalia, the revealed world. Now, some people, great Sadiqim, like Moshe, came from, even as they were in this world, they were a being of Alma Discalia, creation from Alma Discalia, the hidden world. And because of that, because Moshe was from such a high spiritual source with so much light, therefore he had difficulty speaking and expressing himself because he was so far beyond and he had so much error in there that it, it was hard to be expressed. Therefore, you have the speech impediment. But what we want is this bringing it down, Talmud we'll discuss it. Now, that is the Aveda of the Kayan. The Kayan is about bringing down Hashem into the world, whereas the Levi is the opposite. The Levi is about bringing up. And 
he, that that's why his service is through singing there's a difference between uh, understanding or singing if you're listening to let's say listening to a share so you can if you listen to the same share every day it's it's uh, going to get boring uh, generally uh, whereas with the song you can listen you can sing or listen to the same song and, and and you enjoy it and you get inspired again and again because it's not about something new. It's not about the intellectual process. It's just about the, uh, the the emotion and the passion of the heart. And that is what the Levi is trying to achieve, to rise beyond with this uh, fiery uh, passion. And that's the goal of Psuket Zimra, that uh, it's meant to be like a song. That's why it's called Psuket Zimra, the verses of the song, that we're, we're trying to um, excite ourselves. We're not just saying words, but it's meant to excite ourselves and lift ourselves. And that's what we mean in Oziyashir, Asher Lashem Kika Oika Ah, that we sing Tashem because he's, exalt, he's very exalted, very high. Uh, so now that's like what the lady is trying to reach. He's trying to go higher and higher and connect to Hashem, Hashem's very essence. And that's what the next uh, 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 phrase means, sus that the horse and the rider is thrown into the sea. So what does sus mean? Sus is words. That uh, with words, uh, the, first of all, the horse is a uh, is bottle, just follows instructions of the rider. And uh, words, they don't have their own content. They're just expressing the ideas inside the, the mind and heart. But on the other hand, this, the horse can take the rider further than where it can go itself because the horse is uh, faster, stronger. And similarly, words, uh, when we speak, that sometimes reveals aspects of the, the what was going on in our mind and heart that would have been uh, wouldn't have been noticed without speaking. So the speech um, reveals new ideas and new facets of the feelings. And uh, so, so, uh, so that's the idea says, of uh, the source, the speech. But ultimately, Hashem, it's not about the speech, which is revealing what's going on inside. But on the but what it really, um, uh, Ram Ram of Ayam want to throw this in the sea, meaning to lift it to Almadiskasia, the hidden world, and. It says in uh, in Sukkot in, Zimra uh, in the third uh, Luka uh, that that uh, that Levi Kharosa says Yech but Hashem doesn't want the strength of the horse and Levi Shaker hears and all the uh, thigh of man but Reitz Hashem Misirev Hashem wants those who uh, fear him and then continue uh, so and Hamiyach Machasta those who um, who uh, uh, want to who yearn for his uh, kindness. So, uh, so the so we, the horse, like we said, letters and words, and then the the man who leads it is Shake Ish, is the thoughts and the ideas behind the words. But beyond all of that is Yireh of those fear Hashem, which is a total bittel to Hashem, like Moshe Rabbeinu who said, what are we?" And Hamiyachem uh, Lachaste, those who uh, uh, yearn for his, who who those who desire his kindness. That means those who serve Hashem not in order to feel closeness, this spiritual high themselves, but they want Hashem's kindness, meaning uh, it's not for them. It's just about uh, that Hashem to be able to be uh, manifest in uh, in the world, not for their own benefit. And <clears throat> so now back to the uh, idea of Chris Yamsuf, that Hopach uh, Yamla Yabasha, so, and, and which will happen again with Mashiach, um, so there's an issue here because if we're reaching beyond to Alma Discasia and to a Makif energy at the state of Makif, even a even a clipper can uh, take can uh, take a foothold and, and have chayas uh, from clipper because uh, from Makif because Makif is beyond any of our vote anything we do. So the therefore at Chris Yams of that to be this particular. Um, focus on making sure that that uh, Am Yisrael who are serving Hashem get through get through 
when they're able to connect to this, uh, to make the yam, the, the uh, sea into the dry land. And the others wouldn't, and the others would be blocked and and uh, and drowned, meaning that they that that there's a protection on this alma discussia on this makif, so that the uh, the mitzrayim wouldn't be able to uh, tap into it. Uh, that uh, only those who who uh, who tried to get there through the, their mitzvahs would would uh, experience and uh, this alma discussia even within our world.